Gaustech's breakthrough technology launches the new GHX 1400, surpassing its previous records on feed capacity. Gaustech brings this video to you to provide training on this mega size equipment rated up to 1400 tons per hour of iron ore fines. Starting at the magnetic circuit, the GHX 1400 displays six magnetic poles surrounding each one of the two rotors. Each rotor transports 59 magnetic matrices. At each pole, the three corresponding steps of the magnetic separation are feeding point, wash of the middlings, and discharge of the concentrate. The magnetic circuit displays magnetic field lines coming out from the north poles, flowing tangentially through the rotor ring and reaching the south poles. Yellow painted, the air cool coils make the magnetic field lines flow through the poles. Above the magnetic separator, six slurry distributors supply slurry for 12 feeding points, six at each rotor. With a net weight of 265 tons, the size of the GHX 1400 can be observed by comparing it with the operator on its side. To explain the magnetic separation process, the coils will now be removed. Now the magnetic poles north-south can be seen as well as, clockwise, the feeding point, the middling sprays, and the concentrate sprays to discharge the product. And now part of the south pole is removed in order to show the feed section and the separation process. As can be seen, while the rotor turns clockwise, it inserts a clean matrix in front of the magnetic pole, which becomes immediately magnetized by induction. Here, the slurry flowing from the feed box passes through the matrix grooves and is split up into magnetic and non-magnetic products. The non-mags flow down to the collecting launder. The mags are held inside the matrix grooved plates and travel further to be washed by the sprays of the middling section, still under the influence of the forces from the magnetic pole. At the middling section, the contaminants imprisoned inside the mags are washed out by water sprays with enough pressure to achieve the needed chemical quality. The middlings flow to the collecting launder and eventually can go back to the feeding section. Continuing the process, the matrix carrying the magnetic product comes out from the magnetic pole and reaches the neuter zone between the south and north poles. At the neuter zone, the magnetic forces are zeroed and the magnetic product inside the matrix gaps is easily removed by water sprays. After the product discharge, the matrix is clean enough to be fed again at the next feeding point and the process cycle can be repeated indefinitely. Now let us mount the coils back to their poles and leave the separator under operating conditions. Please go to Gaustech's websites for any further questions. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.